Do you have Netflix? There's a movie you can watch called Orion and the Dark by Emma Yartlett. My name is Orion, and I guess you could say I'm scared of a lot of things. Mom tells me I just have a big imagination and there's nothing to be frightened of. Well, that's easy for her to say. As far as I can see, the world is full of frightening things. But there is one thing that scares me more than anything else. The dark. Of course, I've tried all kinds of things to solve the problem. But nothing ever works. And before I know it, it's bedtime again. Good night, Orion. Good night, Mom. I hate bedtime. The night that changed everything began like any other. I kept an eye out for monsters. I kept an ear out for scary noises. But as it got darker and darker and darker, I couldn't take it anymore. I've had enough of you, Dark. I wish you and your scary sounds, your murky monsters, and your pitch blackness would just, just go away. And that's when something strange happened. Gibbering jellyfish. Outside my window, the dark seemed to come alive. And then it came inside my room. I was feeling more scared than ever before, even more than when I went to that dog show with Grandma. But Mom always says it is important to remember your manners, especially when you are greeting monsters, I mean visitors. So I said, hello, I'm Orion, and put out my hand. Hello there, I'm the dark. Now, Orion, it's time for you to stop being so afraid of everything, especially me. Let's go on an adventure. Of course, normally I'd be scared stiff of going on an adventure, especially with a terrifying creature like the dark. But the dark wasn't quite what I expected. First, he asked to see the shadowy and scary parts of the house, the nooks and crannies where the monsters live. In the closet, under the bed, down the drain, in the basement. And you won't believe this, but some of the darkest places turned out to be the most fun. Even having fun couldn't stop me from being scared for long enough. Tap, tap, tap. Bang! Zoom, snore, creak, whack, clink. What are those horrible, creepy, and scary sounds coming from outside? Together, we bravely went outside to find the frightening sounds, and when we found them, they weren't frightening at all. The dark asked me if I had stopped feeling afraid. I said I felt a little better. But there was still one place that made my knees wobble and my tummy twist with fright. And so off we went. The awful place where the dark is darkest of all. On one last adventure all the way up into the night sky. There in the darkest place of all I realized the dark could be fun. And the dark could be interesting. And the dark could be magical. And most of all, the dark could be my friend. And nobody, not even me, is scared of their best friend. But too soon, we had to go home. As the sun began to climb back up into the sky, my friend began to fade. It was time to say goodbye. I've had such a super duper spiffadocious, incredimundo adventure But will you ever come back? I didn't want the dark to go. And so he promised, I'll never be far away. And from that night on, he never was.